Hello, this is Seema Rajpal and you're watching Straight Up by edX Live. A truly inspiring story of Professor Miranda Don Bosco Tomkinson, a deaf-blind candidate has emerged. Dr. Tomkinson has cleared the UGC net in special education after undertaking a journey which was loaded with obstacles. In a remarkable display of grit and determination, Professor Tomkinson managed to pass the UGC net this year with 38%, despite not having a braille questionnaire, a braille display device or a proper scribe. Dr. Tomkinson had already cleared the exam twice before, in 2013 and 2014, achieving over 50% in sociology. However, this time he was denied the Braille questionnaire despite an order from Madras High Court and numerous requests. Let us listen to Dr. Tomkinson himself about what kind of challenges he faced during this particular attempt at UGC NET. I had to endure a lot of ordeal, unlike the earlier experience that I enjoyed through the transcribed Braille question paper this time. I had to face a great difficulty. It was very tiring. And but the person who came along with me, who was just to accompany me, accommodate me with communication, was made exactly the scribe because of the lack of a formal scribe. I had to face a lot of challenges using finger spelling like this we have to spell the full word it was very very difficult his success has come as a beacon of hope for many with disabilities how does this achievement make him feel but somehow i managed to think it is really a very happy thing in spite of all the difficulties and the challenges and most of it, my depression of not able to score much unlike the previous attempt that I scored 53 percentage that was nearing the or you can say I was entitled to get JRF fellowship for pursuing research anyway this time I have passed UGC net second time and that also without the transcript question paper it's really a very great achievement I should feel and one thing I should comment that we can compare this achievement even with Ellen Keller's audible uh, activity as she used to do. Dr. Tomkinson also commented on how no access to basic needs like braille questionnaire and a formal scribe can hinder opportunities for people with disabilities. I would request that such kinds of things should not continue in future and people with deaf blindness or blind people should have transcribed braille question papers because it is very difficult for the scribes and since the exams are four hour time they cannot shout a long time it is very difficult and exhausting so transcribed braille question papers should be provided to visually impaired as well as deaf-blind people and they should be accommodated with these things so they can do well. While he displayed great determination by clearing UGC net despite all the challenges, what were his expectations from this time's attempt and what disappointed him? I was expecting that I should score at least non-90 but sadly I was disappointed. It's really a very uh, disappointing speech. Anyway, I have to thank and complete. I have completed the test very successfully, and this is the second time I have asked to JC before sociology and now education. After clearing UGC net again, what comes next for Dr. Tomkinson? The professor sees the UGC net qualification in special education as a gateway to more opportunities. In the future, I am hoping that I should work as an educationalist and to contribute for 
the persons with disabilities and their welfare. It's my happiness and more than all to become a writer I am, aspiring to become a writer. I hope I will surely achieve all this within few years. I will also do my doctorate shortly after I get settled, well settled in a good post. That's all from us today. Do like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Mask up and stay safe.